What's up guys, Sport Extreme Catfishing here. Uh, just finished my hike of uh, about five miles of the uh, Lake Moultrie Passage from Canal uh, Recreational Area. That's, I made it back to the car and I'm at Canal Recreational Area now. I'm gonna go ahead and hang up hammock for a little bit and uh, just thought I might bring y'all guys along and have a little look at that. Just so you know, I'm putting my straps on the tree here. I'm hanging my uh, Nano 7. Got my straps up now. I'm going to go ahead and put my hammock up. One side, then the other. This is my continuous ridge line. Well, it's not very continuous if I can put it on there, but it's my ridge line. I'm going to put that on there last. Probably definitely gonna have to do some adjusting to this guy once I get it out, but this is the basic setup here. Apologize for the in and out guys. I'm by myself so I don't really have somebody to call me on the camera. He's actually seen the street back he's hanging up his hand many times. So this is nothing new to you guys. As you can pretty much see here, and it's up. What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and sit in it and uh, Go ahead and put my continuous ridge line in.
There's my continuous ridge line. Now what you guys are going to see is me in the hammock. It was nice to get off of the feet. Just kind of hang from your hand. Nice little 10 mile hike today. About 4.7 up, 4.7 back. About nine, a little over nine. I call it ten because all the stops and go backs and cutbacks and all that I've done today, trying to actually uh, get pictures and photographs and good video. I call it a nice ten mile hike today. I think it was a good choice. I think that. Uh, This is a dangerous thing to do because you can go to sleep in this thing real quick. After a 10 mile hike, this thing can put you right to sleep. So, I guess in conclusion you can say that uh, the 5 mile hike that I've done today was really cool. Um, it was basically, uh, most of it was tight. Um, there was like a half a mile of it that went into the woods, and then once it got up on the dike, then it was pretty much it. That was it. Um, the dike was about three miles, and the hike to the dike was about a mile. It was pretty awesome. Um, lots of people on the trail. The most I've seen on the Palmetto Trail since I've started the Palmetto Trail in January of 2011. Um, I think it's because it's November, it's a lot cooler, and this is closer to Charleston, so I think people are just a lot more active as far as nature down here in Charleston uh, than they are uh, back in the, uh, back in Columbia and surrounding areas. Um, and I'm going to relax 
even better than I usually do. I'm going to take off my boots. And, uh... Relax fully in my hammock. So it's uh, probably after about uh, 3.30. Started about 9.30ish. <coughs> about six hours of hiking. It's about a good day. Six hours of hiking is a pretty good day. Um, so you have to do the eight hours of hiking is when it really, really just tears you down. Um, It's a great passage. You guys should come out here to Canal and uh, barbecue out and just hang. Or you can hang like I'm doing also. Um, just be, you know, part of nature. I mean, it's a beautiful trail. You're going alongside the Lake Moultrie Passage. Um, it's just a, it's a great way to spend a day. Do a day hike, come back, hang hammocks. With you guys at hammockforums.net, great hang. Um, if y'all guys are in the Charleston area, um, then you should come down and to the Canal Recreational Area. We got good, there's good trees out here, so you can definitely find a place to hang at. So you can hang and have a little picnic and be pretty cool. Um, there's a campground right down the way that I was going to uh, hang at, but. <coughs> decided to come out here and be a little closer to the car after the hike I just did. But it's right that way and it's about, I don't know, 500 yards from the trailhead to the right and there's a, one little camp fire ring out there but there, you can hang back in the woods. That'd be an awesome place. Um, it's pretty daggum cool, I have to tell you. Well, that's it guys. I just kind of wanted to to bring y'all guys along and you know if you haven't seen the video for uh, this shit look for it I think this hammock video is probably going to go out before anything else does it's because I have so much more of the video to put out there but uh Hope y'all guys enjoyed the video. Um, I always like to hang for a few minutes and do a little video of it. So it's not no biggie. Excuse me, no biggie, but y'all know how extreme catfish do. And uh, this is your boy Extreme Catfish, man, and your boy's out. What's up, guys? It's your boy Extreme Catfishing, hollering at you from the hammock, as you know your boy always does. Um, just want to let y'all guys know that I'm at Canal, and it is a little chilly out here right now. My iPhone says it is 66 degrees here in Bonet, South Carolina. Um, so, a little chilly to be hanging a hammock. Excuse me. Uh, I took my long tees off earlier because as I was coming down the dike, uh, I got a little warm. It was a little warm earlier. It was about 68 earlier. Um, so it's dropped a couple of degrees down. So it's getting a little chillier. Um, it's about four o'clock. Still got daylight. Ugh, thought I might, you know, give you guys a, you know, perspective from inside the hammock. Uh, let's see here. If I can give y'all guys the, the looksy daisy here. 
those beautiful trees above my head that's what I see so for all you hammock form guys out there today was a great day any day that I can hang a hammock is a great day and uh, the hike was great <clears throat> The hammock's great. The weather's great. And I'm afraid to fall asleep or I may freeze to death out here. This is just that comfortable. Terry, wish you were out here, Terry. A lot of hanging hammock trees out here, man. You want to take a look, man? Look. Look at all these hammock trees. Hammockforums.net. Terry Dodson, you're missing out, man. You're missing out. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to lay here probably for another 15 minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and get myself up here and roll back to the car, go grab something to eat, and then head back to the house. And uh, I appreciate y'all guys coming along for the hang. I appreciate y'all guys coming along for the hike. I appreciate y'all guys coming along for the ride. It's your boy, Extreme Catfishing. And if you know anything about your boy, Extreme Catfishing, man, there's one thing you always better know and better realize and understand. Your boy is out.